Was Dracula onto something? That's the intriguing question answered by the Daily Mail's health section with an enthusiastic, yep. Uh, so what was he onto exactly? Well, science has shown us that we can reverse aging using the blood of innocence. To be fair, that's not actually a thing that Dracula was onto. Dracula had to suck blood or else starve to death because he was a vampire, not some rich old guy who's terrified of death and willing to try absolutely anything. No, I think the Daily Mail was actually thinking of Peter Thiel, uh, the ultra-conservative, uber-litigious Silicon Valley asshole who supposedly has been buying up young blood in a vain attempt to live forever. Uh, anyway, the study the Daily Mail is talking about has also been discussed by other more trustworthy sources like New Scientist, uh, with a headline proclaiming, Human tests suggest young blood cuts cancer and Alzheimer's risk. Well, that's exciting, right? Wrong. It's stupid, and that's a stupid headline. The study involved giving young blood transfusions to older people and seeing how it affects them. And apparently they found that the patients saw a 20% drop in antigens that are found in large quantities in people with cancer. They also found a 20% reduction in plaque that is found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Uh, you can probably already identify at least one problem with all of this because you're a smart person who watches my videos. Um, and so you know that a drop in antigens and plaque does not equal a drop in those actual diseases. The antigens are found in people with cancer, but there's not a one-to-one -one ratio of antigens to cancer incidents. So maybe those drops are significant, but maybe they're not. We don't know. More study is needed. Let me tell you a few other problems. Uh, for a start, we don't actually know what the study found because it hasn't been published in a peer-reviewed journal. All of these outlets are reporting on a press push from Ambrosia, a startup corporation that performed the study, which again, has not been peer-reviewed at all. So we don't, we don't know what their results are or if they're valid. Uh, secondly, the study had no control group. That's a huge, baffling omission. With no control group, we have no way to tell how much of the results are just due to the placebo effect. Thirdly, patients in the study paid to be in it. Uh, that creates a huge conflict, including the fact that those patients are now financially invested in this procedure working, which could exacerbate the placebo effect. In other words, this is garbage, not science. It belongs in the Daily Mail health section, obviously, because that's where garbage goes. But it doesn't belong in new scientists who reported on it with a completely credulous headline and completely buried criticisms. So for those of you who are desperate to live forever, maybe don't start luring children into your basement phlebotomy lab just yet. Uh, you're probably better off just like eating healthy and getting some exercise. Yeah, not as exciting.